For those of you who don't know about the Baby Asher story in Australia, here's a rundown. Baby Asher is an asylum seeker baby born in Australia. Her parents are both seeking asylum here. She has recently been staying at the Lady Salento Children's Hospital in Brisbane, being treated for burns she sustained at the Nauru Regional Processing Centre. This centre is used to temporarily hold asylum seekers to Australia and has had a long history of violence, including rapes, assaults and rioting. The controversy around Baby Asha is that the treating doctors and nurses at the hospital do not want to release her, knowing full well that the authorities will immediately take her and her family back to Nauru. They say that they have an ethical obligation to keep her at the hospital as long as the Australian government threaten her with deportation to the detention centre. Doctors' Options The doctors have been threatened with arrest and possible prison sentences. Recently, it was reported that the government are planning to send in security personnel to forcibly take the baby. Protesters have been surrounding the exit points of the hospital in a vain hope that this will prevent the security forces from entering. It has been said these security personnel will be plain-clothed officers, so it might be a bit hard to know who is who. I have an idea. If the staff truly don't want to hand over the baby, they could simply move the baby to another section of the hospital, in the same vein as the famous Godfather scene. I mean, just say the security officers enter the hospital requesting to see the child, and the receptionist gives them the correct room number. The officers go there to find that there is no child. What can they do? Search every room in the hospital? Arrest every worker in the hospital? That would go down well, wouldn't it? Arresting a whole bunch of children's doctors and nurses. I can just imagine the headlines. Australian Government Arrests 17 Children's Hospital Workers. Australia Government Sinks to a Whole New Low. Obviously the staff as well as much of the public think it is a bit cruel to send a baby back to the hellhole on Nauru. I happen to agree with them. However, I can understand the government's dilemma. Government's Dilemma If the government cave in and agree that the baby and her family can stay in Australia, this will send out a very strong message to future asylum seekers. That is, if your baby is injured and sent to a mainland hospital, you have a chance of being settled in Australia. This could end in disaster. Desperate asylum seekers might resort to intentionally harming their children in order to get shipped off to the mainland. If the government maintain their hardline stance, they might be at risk of pissing off the average Australian citizen, and will almost certainly be labelled as cruel and putting dogma ahead of human rights. However, the biggest problem for the government, and I mean big, is if they let baby Asher and her family stay in Australia, then they've just made a statement to all Australian citizens. That is, if you just act like the doctors and staff at the hospital and refuse to obey the demands of the Department of Immigration and Border Protection, you can get your own way. This will severely undermine the government's ability to control the average Australian. We all know what any government is about. Power. If they lose control, they lose power. What will happen next? I don't know. But it's nice to see people standing up for human rights. It will hurt the government if they force the baby to leave the hospital, especially knowing that it will all be filmed, either by the media or by the hospital staff or the public using their mobile phones. If they give in to the doctor's demands, then they'll certainly lose some credibility. As many politicians might attest, kindness is often mistaken for weakness. The Australian government have made it very clear that there is no room for kindness in Australia, at least not where there are asylum seekers involved. Good job, Malcolm Turnbull, for bullying the most disadvantaged members of our society. Updates. As this was an ongoing story, I thought I'd better keep the post updated with the latest news. February 23, 2016. It has been reported that Ash's family had been refused access to their lawyers by the Australian Government's Border Force Unit. The Human Rights Law Centre have been providing legal support for Asher and her family, but were prevented from contacting them for three days. Access was only granted after a public statement was issued on the situation. Furthermore, Asher was released by the hospital on Monday, February 22, 2016, and placed into community detention in Brisbane. Immigration Minister Peter Dutton said that the government will not be blackmailed into changing their immigration policy. I wonder why the government would make it hard for Asher's family to see their lawyers. Obviously, the government are up to mischief.